Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you how to use one of my favorite cloud storage, which is Dropbox. Let me show you how to use their version history. A lot of people, it doesn't matter that you're in Excel, Word, PowerPoint. When they keep doing updates of a file, they'll do a file, save as, update, name it, do another file, save as, give it a different name. So they're basically they may end up with 15 files when it's really the same file, it just has different modifications. So let me show you how this works. I have Excel running with a file I haven't named yet, and I'm in my Dropbox account. Dropbox 2019, this folder is empty. Back to Excel, I'm going to save this file the first time to save as, and I'm gonna put it in my Dropbox. And I'm going to name it Budget FY19. Now, just to show you, back to Dropbox. And there it is, five seconds ago. Minimize. So now I have some data that I want to change. I don't want that to be in yellow. So I'm going to turn that off. And I also want to auto sum this row right here for the south region. I'm going to highlight the north region, auto sum, and then hopefully get my grand totals. Let's see what happens here. The sum of B10 comma B6, that is correct. I'm going to do my second save. Notice I'm not doing a file save as I'm just going to hit save. Now, for some reason, I decide that the north region, the numbers, I want to have a blue font color, and I want them in bold. I'm just making stuff up. I'm going to do another save. I'm going to go back to my Dropbox. There's the file. Right over here, click one time, and that's why it's called version history. And I'm going to click it, and I hope I have, I believe, three versions. Let's see. And I do. And you can look. They're all the same date, obviously, and it's got the times. If for some reason you wanted to go back and see what this one looked like, you can just simply click it one time, and it's going to preview it for you right in the Dropbox window on the web. So it doesn't have to go and open Excel. There it is. And you can see that I don't have those numbers. And if I want to restore it, I click on, yes, this is the one I want. So I'm going to go ahead and restore it. I'm going to hit restore. Still going to save all the old versions. So, hit, so that's now the most up-to-date version. So I'm going to go back. And what's also nice is if I click here, just so you know you can do this, I'm going to go to rename. I don't like the name of the file. And I'm going to rename the file budget for 2019. I'm just making this up. Press enter. It doesn't matter if you rename your files, it still keeps up with the version history. That's just what I want.